hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel okay so we have number four uh this is 2020 november paper three computer science number four is on our database okay so we have a question created a database called beta prizes with a table called orders which contains the following records okay that is our table printable so the first thing which you should be able to do identify what we call field names field names they are sort of the headings of the table after doing that you should identify the data in the field names randomly so that you can determine the data type of each and just looking at our order id i can actually see that this contains numbers in text so this is just going to be take this data type date ordered this just contains dates so data type here is going to be date or time item order this is clearly text quantity these are numbers clearly supplier id mixture of both so this is just text so what you do is just uh, open your access you choose on blank database uh well, you've been instructed to name your database uh, beta prices so it is very important that you name your you name your work exactly as it you have instructed okay i'm just giving another one break let me just uh, there okay so when you reach this stage uh, what you do now is just uh, go and uh, design your table you have instructed to name it orders so here after that you are taken to field names so here is when you where you type your um your field name so for sake of time i have already done this i'm just going to switch to the other database Yeah, I'm going to switch to this database where I already have this table. So we at design. So these are all the field names we have. So you're just going to write them as they are. You just be taking them from the question paper. Exactly so this and this and this and this. So after I do that, you just write the data type corresponding to the data given. After I do that, you uh, click here, and that then you view all those details as they are in that table after doing this you print this table either you are going to take a screenshot then paste it at word it's okay but um once you do this number one will be over i mean number part a will be over and you have your 10 marks that will be all